be like in Iowa or Ohio and in September something feels so huge but then when the leaves fall in the winter you're like yeah it's not as far over there as I thought it's just like here it doesn't change because there's no trees no leaves you sleep all right last night Sleeping really good on that. <laughs> I'm not nice and serious. I, yeah, I mean, I slept like great and woke up really warm. Really didn't even have a problem getting up. Just a matter of hearing the alarm or not, I guess. Gotta be a mule, eh? Like it. Hey, before you know it, we're gonna be hunting. <laughs> try to communicate as best as possible today. I really do think that if we're hunting as a group, like as soon as somebody gets eyes on a big one, like even yesterday, if you guys spot that big one, like we can loop around it and get to an escape route. You know what I mean? That way we're just upping our odds, even if we spook the thing. Like, I think you're right. Let's, let's do it though. Let's all right. get in there. Good luck. He's a getter. Here's the good news, we're walking six miles back and there's already been nobody back here since the snow. <laughs> <laughs> All the way zoomed in, it's that far. Just one of them. I mean, that's all I can see right now. I don't think it's a big buck, but it just bedded, so. We just kind of keep that hill in mind and keep going. It definitely bedded. bucks in there, that's what I'm saying. So, it's so good. Where are they even at? You see this group of trees out there to the right? Big tall trees. They're just in those. Oh, they're in the trees? Yeah. <laughs> there's a good one in there. Do you see them? Yeah, there's like four bucks in there. That's embarrassing, really how low my confidence was. Just totally lost confidence. We all did. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's like a nice buck down in there. Just bad. I was about to start chirping you picking this spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the big trees. Yep. And then on the right side, there's like a group of like standalone smaller trees. Yep. And there's a big gap there. Yep. Well, if you go into the big trees and you go to the left, there's another big gap there and there's a big log going horizontal on the ground. Oh, I can see one there. One's yeah. bedded, that's a buck. And then to the left of him, through the spotter, I can see a big rack. And I saw it turn, so like I know it's a buck. I like, Isn't there one? There's one standing, I think. Yeah, there is. Rise. A, 
Down to the left, yep. But there's a there's a hammer in here. Double pack, six mile. The one looks really good. This afternoon we decided to group up and do something real weird and walk like six and a half miles back in here. So far, we've see, spotted one, I think, mule deer doe way off in the distance. Really, we're losing confidence. We're not seeing a lot of tracks, but there's some big trees that we've been targeting. So we were hoping, you know, with the rifle pressure, all the pressure that we have been seeing, which isn't a ton, but is enough to move some deer around, seemed like this would be a good place to come check out. As soon as I sat down and started glassing in these big trees, I spotted a bedded buck, and then there's like three other deer in there that I can see are smaller bucks, and there's one really big buck in there, for, for this area at least. So, feeling pretty good about it. I think we're gonna have to start thinking about some sort of stalk. It's uh, what, two o'clock probably? So we got about three hours and 20 minutes. I mean, I think we should circle it all the way around and come in on them in a crosswind. See these hills through the middle of this thing? Get to those, cut straight across. I mean, there's probably just like two or three good bucks in there. Yeah, okay. get it, get Let's just them. go shoot them. So, our game plan is we got a wind coming this way. Obviously the bucks are in that timber line. We're gonna drop down, and if you look down there, you can see within this kind of tall grass area, there's some, there's some small sand hills, and I think we're gonna be able to stay behind those. We're just gonna run. We're gonna move as fast as we can. We're gonna try to get on the other side of those trees, so basically circle around them with the wind in our favor, go right at them. We don't have primers in our guns, we're not loaded, so if it looks like we're just being crazy with guns, they're not loaded. Just so you know, we're gonna get crazy though, and we're gonna run. Hustle, hustle. spooked them as long as they don't see us we should be good yeah I think if we get just get behind like the last little hill so we could just crawl right up to the crest of one of them and just I'm just 251 so it's still two hours and 40 minutes it's three hours so they're here our winds blowing like this right now I think if we stay on the backside of these hills and just keep hauling it as fast as we can and we could realistically get to here somewhere in here like we should have no trouble because these hills fall down enough if you're looking at this topo I think they're actually behind that point yeah so I think if we can get to here then we just walk right out yeah I think so too sucks I know it's brutal but like if you can be like this they're not gonna see us even if they're looking right at us I don't think do it
about to shoot a buck. I just had another fail. <laughs> Pretty cold, but I'm too worried about it. I got some adrenaline pumping. Give me this. I'm gonna go for a clean up for him. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Yeah, yeah. Don't move. I see her. Yeah. Shoot that far or what? I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. Grant, <laughs> Grant, what are you doing, man? <laughs> He's wet back there, pissed off. Not blind, you're saying? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure your corneas are still working today. left side of this group of trees up in front of us here. Zach's going to try and crawl in across this marsh to get the trees between him and the buck and then he's just going to go straight at him. If he gets to the other side of that group of trees that buck's going to be in range. For the most part the buck is looking to our left up into the sand hills but he keeps checking us every once in a while down here. So we're just going to have to go slow if we're going to move. At first we thought he was spooked, but I think it looks now like he was just chasing some does or just being goofy. He definitely wasn't spooked from us because he ran right towards us. Go oh, and I'll, I can film him right here. Yeah. 
might just get up and run after me. Might not even notice. Something behind him to the right. It might be those does coming. Might be another buck or something too. Yeah. That big tree is 178. That buck's four or something. Just over 430. <laughs> oh, he's looking to the left now. It's good. He has no idea. Just lay that down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that? Yeah, I'm sure he'll look back at us.
straight at that tree.
You got some serious work at him. <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe that. We were, we were watching him. I'm like, we're gonna see him take off, run, or fall before the shot. All of a sudden, we just see him like, we thought he took off, kind of. It looked like he just spooked, and then we heard a shot ring out. <laughs> just the delay. Yeah, that's like, I saw him. I mean, I was in those trees, hit him 200, 200. I almost pulled the trigger when he stood up like that. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I was like, dude, it's too windy. It's like, I just don't feel comfortable. But I like, I was steady on him forever. And then when he got up and moved, I had to adjust. And I lost my steadiness. I'm like, well, now I'm definitely not gonna do it. They ran behind these hills. I just took off running. Yeah. Literally just ran up here. I have put it to you, like you at the bottom. Of the it looked crazy. It dude, it was awesome. so crazy. And when I just like got to the bottom of the hill, and I, I saw him run one more time, and I'm like, I'm gonna cut him off perfect. I just ran to there, look up, sucker's standing there, broadside. I was like, it's now or never, baby. Come on. Just to watch him just fall over, and I was like, yeah, I, dude, that was the right? craziest yeah. reload I've ever done. My, I'm froze, I'm just completely soaked. <laughs> that's my first, that's seriously my What's first gun doing? buff in almost 10 years. Curse broken, baby. <laughs> Curse broken. <laughs> Woo! That is so sweet, dude. And Ted filmed it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> dude, yes! <laughs> dude, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Guys, that was so fun. That was so fun. <laughs> Six, Six miles. miles in. <laughs> Tell you're soaking wet. I mean, honestly, the wind is why I didn't shoot. Yeah. It's like I was so afraid he's in range. Like I was hitting him at 195. How far was he when you shot? I shot him for 100, but I think he was right. I mean, I was right at the base of that hill, right there. So. <laughs> That's the first deer I've ever freehand shot, too. Yeah. Oh, so fun. That was like... Is that that one we yeah, saw, or is it different? <laughs> That's the one I saw bedded by yeah. the tree, for sure. That like that's the shape that I had in my head yeah. when we were originally up there. It was just one of those deals he got out and he was gonna be in front of us and then he just stopped. And then when he bedded, it was like, I think I can just keep <laughs> putting trees between me and him. And that's all I did. When he bedded, and then he stood up, we're like, oh no, and then he bedded back down, and like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just looking this way. <laughs> yeah, the second time and he was looking perfect. this way. Oh, it was too perfect, but then he got up, yeah. which saved me. Honestly, that if that whole last part didn't happen, they, did they see you then? No. They just got up? She just got up and started trotting and you know, I think that's how they travel through here. It's just so wide open, why would you yeah. walk? Yeah. Never yeah. making anywhere. Yeah. He just took off and started trotting and when he did that, he would stop. But every time, I don't know if you guys could see me or not, I don't know what you guys saw. But every time he would <laughs> drop down, I would just take off. Yeah. And I just kept cutting that distance. And all of a sudden I'm like, if he if he drops down into here or gets on a spot where I can see him, and he yeah. did, that was, that was so fun. Like it's just as fun as doing it with the bow. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I'm so cold though. I'm like, oh, yeah. like kind of dangerous, I think. <laughs> Woo! We might, we might need to get housed up a little bit, man. Yeah, we're gonna eat. Oh, let's go look at this thing real quick, though. Oh man, look at that head, dude. Like that's a mature, that's a mature Sam Hill buck right there, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at the hooves on that thing, dude. It's like great. Oh man. Just 
like that in the wasteland. <laughs> yeah, like honestly, if you guys could even begin to know the the worry that we had. I mean, so scared that there was no deer back here. Walked all the way back here. Spent literally all afternoon walking back here. And here's what we got. Got him. <laughs> Just thought he knew what he was doing. He, he did know what he was doing, though. <laughs> That's the thing. He did. Being yeah, way back here, this is as far as you can be. Like, yeah, this oh, is yeah. deep. Oh, yeah. Let me get my tag on. And then I'm going to start cutting deer because I'm going to die. Like I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Like this is our buck. Like wouldn't have had the confidence to come back here without you guys. Like I've looked at this spot for so long, dude. And like it's so funny because we got back here and it's just like I don't know, I don't feel it. No tracks. I mean, virtually no tracks the whole way. And then it's like boom, there he is. Like just in that little pocket. Like really the only cover. Really good habitat for him. Pretty yeah. isolated. That's the part that worried me is like every everywhere that we've been on this trip, we've seen deer everywhere. Yeah. And like this was the one spot that we it was just like really isolated. It was void. It was yeah. void of deer yeah. for five miles. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, you guys will never have a clue how much we walked today. Like oh, just walked so so long, just trudging, and like got back here and we were like, no way, there's deer in here. <laughs> sure enough. And I really do think that buck is the one that I spotted behind that tree. And it helps too, I think, to have four guys back in here. Like, there's just you and another guy. And just be kind of like, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and then we were crouched down there for how long? It was a long but, time. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. digging Four deep minutes, into my half yeah. place right now. <laughs> <laughs> my gloves are soaked. My hand, my feet are complete. My feet are like ice cubes right now. Yeah. But hey. We got a bug. <laughs> Dude, that was so fun. God, I got it, I got it. That was so awesome. Dad, <laughs> one more, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. We got some pictures. We got the tag punched. We're going to cut this thing up. We're going to eat them in packs. We got game bags. We got knives. We got three frame packs. We're going to get this thing out of here in no time. Just six and a half miles. It's easy. Just one, one more mile further than my elk was. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, only one more mile than that uh, jackrabbit I shot in Colorado. <laughs> Usually having just two people cut and then have one guy with bags. So I think Ted, those bags are in your pack. I'm just gonna start quartering him up. All right, we got the deer all cut up. We're ready to pack it out. Ted so kindly made us some boiling water and therefore we have freeze dried meals now. Just sharing these real quick. We're gonna make a little bit of coffee. Try to do a few jumping jacks, warm up. And we got the six and a half miler ahead. <laughs> should be quick, should be easy. Should take about two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, we're on the board now. It's like everything's It'll be good. harder physically easier mentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you would have ran over that hill yeah. and just flag, flag a flying, we'd have been like, nah, this sucks. <laughs> have a slurp. I like that coffee, don't you? That's your favorite, that's your favorite coffee is the gritty, the gritty jet oil coffee. I like that 20 degree coffee, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Out begins. Six and a half mile. Let's do it.
Zach, you got your keys? You got your car keys? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just figured it'd be like a real horrible thing to leave in that little bowl. For some reason they fell out. Uh, sh what did I do with my car keys? <laughs> Hold on. It looks so funny in there. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on now. Got it. We're good. <laughs> yeah. We're all right. It's hard, it's just like monotonous. There's nothing yeah. there's nothing to it. You're not even going up and down or anything. You're just, I mean, kind of, but just like real subtle, weird. It's more mentally exhausting than anything. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is just remembering that, hey, we got one, that was super fun. Yeah. We're gonna get another one, and nobody else came out here to do this. There's literally no tracks out here from the only access point. And like, that's what goes through my head. It's like, hey, we did it. And just like that, it's over. Just a quick, uh, oh, I don't know, three hours. Oh man, that's crazy. Like, for a whitetail pack out, that's pretty insane. Wow. Oh. <gasps> it's worth it though, eh? <laughs> that was a long way. Yeah, it was a long way. I, uh, I think we said originally it was like six, but that was all straight line, six and a half. Like that was not a, was not following that road. I'll bet you by the time it's all said and done, we'll get a total count. We're gonna drop a total count. We dropped it. We're gonna measure it back. Back at the hotel, we're gonna get a hotel and just like take a shower and dry our stuff because we're soaking wet. That whole pack out was just like totally wet. Whole hunt was totally fun. Just so, so pleased that it all panned out the way it did feel real lucky that it did. I guess with that, we're gonna load up and we'll be back after him tomorrow. I'll sip on some of this. Yeah, that's gonna be good for everybody. Not much. Only 39 cents, that'll, that'll cost you to refill that. Believe it or not, they'll charge you for water to fill that thing. Is that how big it is? <laughs> I'm having a tortilla with peanut butter, uh, banana slices, and apple slices. Mm. And apple slices are good being better. Yeah, oh yeah. Woo! The exhaustion sets in as soon as you take that pack off. It's like you get like that achy and that cold that, like it's not just cold, you know what I mean? It's not just like because you're cold, it's because you're just whooped. Yeah. It's awesome. How's that looking? It's gonna be so good. Right on the grass, that's cool, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that, that's gonna be so good. I've been thinking about this the whole time. Quite a bit of grass, actually. <laughs> How is it? Nope. <laughs>